Welcome to DNA Today. I'm Dave Miklos. And I'm Jan Witkowski. And we're here at Corsby Harbour Laboratory talking about DNA in the news. And today's story puts a new spin on the term, I'm a monkey's uncle. Now, we use that as an expression of surprise, but there's some marmoset monkeys who would be surprised to learn that they are an uncle to their own offspring. So we're talking about those cute little monkeys called marmosets. Marmosets almost always give birth to fraternal twins. And it's been known since the 1960s that these twins are patchworks of their own cells, they're chimeras. Um, and this occurs because the, the placenta of the twins fuse. So there's a channel, a passageway, by which cells from one twin can migrate into the other twin. Yeah, so these uh, marmosets are a, a bit like the mythical chimera, which was part goat, part serpent, and part lion. Now recently at the University of Nebraska, they used DNA testing to take a look at these chimeras. That's the same sort of testing that we use to test in human criminal cases. And what they found is if, that if you look at different cells from one marmoset's body, some of the DNA is its own and some is like its sibling that was in the womb with it. Now they went even further and they looked at sperm cells and lo and behold they found that about half of a marmoset's sperm cells might have its own genetic imprint and half might say be sperm from really from the brother. And you can guess the rest of the story. The Nebraska team kept careful track of the matings uh, looking at the, the DNA in the, in the fathers and the, the mothers and the DNA in the, in the offspring. And they found the DNA fingerprints of the uncle as well as the, as the marmoset that was the father of the, of the, of the offspring. And this is, was an, unex, an unexpected form of uh, genetic or hereditary chimerism. And most interestingly, this seemed to be reflected in the behaviors of the marmosets. Yeah, these uh, marmosets seem to know what's going on because marmosets rec recognize their young by smell. This is like many mammals do this. And in fact, uh, the chimeras would have some odor producing glands that would be from the father and some that would be from the uncle. And what they found was that the fathers of these chimeric marmosets spend more time picking them up and carrying them around than they do of the non-chimeric ones. Right. So here's a, here's a bit of sort of sociobiology. Uh, it seems that the uh, genetic chimeras are being perceived by their fathers as being more similar to the fathers than the non-chimeric twin. And so the father thinks that this chimeric twin is more related to it and so cares for more for it. Yeah, it sort of represents a deeper representation of its kin. Now, it's not the same case with the mothers, because the mothers handle the chimeric babies less. So yeah. I don't know what you think that means. Uh, I think we shouldn't, we shouldn't pursue that one, I don't think. 